Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2017 Gold Rush autographed 8x10 photos. This is Hall of Fame edition. I guess I should specify that. HOF edition. Let's type that in there. Gold Rush Hall of Fame autographed 8x10 photos. Everyone in here is a Hall of Famer. There it is, right on the box. So there's an example of the stuff that you can get here. That's a great Nolan Ryan. So there's a lot of great shots there. Julius Irving. Got some hockey guys right over here. Some football, baseball, basketball. Joe Montana over there. Hank Aaron. All sorts of stuff. So once again, big thanks to all of these folks here. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up that case. I'm going to number all the uh, envelopes in there. 1 through 12. We'll randomize your names. Randomize the number. Match you up and see what you get. Some of you may remember this. Uh, we often use these eight by tens for the for like team randoms and stuff like that. I think you've seen those. So now this time we get we're gonna do a full case of this. All right. Now, we'll just number these 1 through 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, sorry, and, and 12. All right. Now let's roll it and randomize each list. Five and a three, eight times for each list. Um, all sports. All sport, multi sport product. Five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Did I pull you an LT out of this, Sean? Nice. And Eastwood, you got a Walter Payton, too. See, some good stuff in there. Jesse down to Tyler. And we'll do these in alphabetical order by your first name. Just make it a little bit easier. Paste that there. All right. Once again, five and a three, eight times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got two down to nine. No, I changed my mind. We're just going to do them we're going to do them numerically just cuz they're in that order. All right, Jesse with 2, Jimmy with 4, Rick with 7, Fred last spot mojo 3. Tomorrow with 10, Noah with 5, Bill with 11, Michael with 12, Noah with 6 and 8, Rex with 1. You're up first, Rex, and Tyler with 9. Let's order these numerically. Rex, you're up first. Now, I, if, if I remember correctly, they don't actually put like the play. Some of these are going to be obvious, but they don't actually put the player name on the back. So like, I don't know who these guys are, right? So I'm not going to, unless they're, unless they're Howes. Um, I think they are the Howes. But sometimes I'm not, not going to know who some of these players are, so it's hard to play who am I. So we're just going to rip these open, pop them out and see if we know who they are. So you all, you, all the certificates are there and everything. And the first one is gonna be, is gonna be, oh, I think that's Paul Horning. That's gotta be Paul Horning, right? Packers, five.
Horning for sure. Yeah, number five, Horning. There you go. Nice, Rex. There you go. Packers legend, Paul Horning. All right. Um, I guess I'll just... Write it right on here. I think they're probably going to repack these anyway. I don't know how to make an end there for a second, Rex. All right. All right. Jesse, you have, a, you have the second one. Beckett stuff right here, and it's it's Jer Jerry is that Jerry Colangelo? It's got to be right. American businessman, sports executive, formerly the owner of the Phoenix Suns and the Mercury. And he looks owned the Arizona Sand Sharks of the Indoor Soccer League as well. And then coached the Suns for a long time. And there you go. I think he coached the U Team USA for a while too. All right, there you go. Jerry Colangelo. Nice. He's in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Nice. I didn't realize. I didn't realize he was in the Basketball Hall of Fame. There you go, Jesse. All right. Fred, last spot mojo number three. You're up next. No Beckett card inside. But we've got the Panini VIP right here. That's Lawrence Taylor? He's 56, right? Gotta be. That's from the Panini VIP party. Yeah, LT. There's his autograph there. So it's from the Panini VIP party. So there's your authentication there. Nice. There you go. That's not too bad. I don't, I don't see his. You don't see his autograph too often. That's pretty strong. All right, Jimmy, you're up next with number four. We got a JSA this time. We have a hockey player. I'm definitely not going to know who this is. Old Old King. This is when they when the Kings had like the Lakers colors right here. Oh, J Max got it too. Marcel Dion. There you go. They should they should bring like they should bring those colors back for for like an alternate uniform or something like that. I think that'd be cool. I think they've ever done that. The the old you know the Kings uniforms like for a little while were like the Lakers colors. I know, those are nice. To bring those back as like a alternate jersey for like a special game or something. All right, Noah, you've got five and six. So here's five. <laughs> It'd be 
funny if he was the brother of Celine Dion. We got a PSA right here. And it's... We know this guy, Mike Ditka. Look how young he looks there. There's the PSA DNA sticker right there. He doesn't look that young. Looks kind of... Compared to now. Compared to now? Yeah. The autograph looks new. Or old. Or new. New, yeah. All right. Nice one, Noah. You also have number number six. Is he in the Hall of Fame as a coach or a player? Mike Dicka. That's a good point. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe both? I didn't catch too many of his games, so I don't know how. <laughs> no, you didn't. You you, no. you didn't you didn't grow up watching old Iron Mike, no. as a as a as an eagle. Just two years as an eagle. Is he in as a uh, Sean says he's in as a player. I would assume player, because I don't know how long he coached. I don't think he coached for that long, to be honest. Oh yeah, the honor of being the first tight end ever inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in oh, 1988. Cool. So there you go. Nice. All right, Noah. Envelope six. The envelope, please. It's going to be, got, got another PSA DNA card right here. Looks old. Looks like, Carl or, Hubble. yeah, old Carl Hubble of the Hubbard. new, Hubbard. Hubbard. Hubble? Hubble? Hubbard. Cal? Cal Hubble? No, it, look, Cal it looks Hubble. like an R there. Cal Hubbard? Of the New York baseball giants? Carl Hubble. Carl Hubble. Hubble? He's better than Ruth Gehrig and Lou wow. Fox. Wow. He is perhaps best remembered for his performance in the 1934 All-Star Game when he struck out five wow. future Hall of Famers, Ruth, Gehrig, wow. Fox, Al Simmons, and Joe Cronin, in wow. succession. Wow. Ooh. Wow. That's, that's pretty amazing. He was called, nicknamed the Meal Ticket and King Carl was pitcher for the New York Baseball Giants from 28, 1928 to 1943 and remained on the team's payroll for the rest of his life long sick, after their move to San Francisco. He's got a sick wind up, I'll tell you that. Like what a, a, his leg is higher yeah, than his Yeah, head. seriously. That, that's, that's, that's like the old, that's the old wind up where, the, where like the ball dropped all the way to the, <laughs> yeah. to the almost to the mound. Yeah. Right there. Back in the day. All right, that's pretty cool, Noah. All right. Yeah, he was, they were banging the trash can in the All-Star Game dugout. That's what it was. <laughs> the the original. All right. Uh, envelope 7 goes to Rick. Okay, I want to guess some of these. Although we want it to be no, you know, we, we want it to be no, so... All right, another PSA DNA. You know this guy? Yeah. Who is it? Oh, that's Don Maynard. Yeah, New York Jets. One of uh, Joe Namath's favorite targets, I think. Was he? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, all right. Don Maynard. Nice. For Rick. There you go, Rick. Thanks for getting in. I'm posting another one of these. It's not in the promo, but we can write it back. All right. So the next one, as you heard Nick say, not part of the promo, but if you just want to have some more fun with these, we can run these back. Noah, you have envelope eight. Tyler, you're up next. It's a pretty cool break. You guaranteed a holiday. Guaranteed paper. something, yeah. PSA DNA right here. And we've got some basketball. Is that Charles Barkley? It is. Wow. It, you can't tell because look how lean he looks there. <laughs> That's a great one. Great hit. What you, what year oh. was this? This is this Is that Dream Team? Original 1992 Dream Team? Did he play He played in Atlanta too, so Well, look at Carl Malone, number 11. Was he on the Dream Team roster? He had to have been. Yeah, I don't. Was Carl Malone on the '96? No, he looks too young for. Well, I don't know. So let's look at the 
Wow, that, that men's roster is wild. That's sick roster. Christian Leitner, David Robinson, Patrick Ewing, Larry Bird, Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan, Ky- Clyde the Glide Drexler, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Chris Mullen, Charles Barkley, and Magic Johnson. That was your 92. Oh, you remove Christian Leitner? And yeah. That's a sick team. That was the original dream team. In 1996, Barkley was on the 96 team as well. They also won gold medal there. Barkley, Penny Hardaway, Grant Hill, Hakeem Olajuwon, Malone again, Reggie Miller, Shaquille O'Neal, Gary Payton, Scottie Pippen, Mitch Richmond, David Robinson, John Stockton. I'm guessing that's 92. I think that's 92? Because he looks really young. Yeah. Wayne thinks original dream team as well. That's nice. We're, we're actually going to see him tonight. TNT, it's Thursday, TNT games. Inside the NBA. There you go, Noah. Noah, very nice. No, not in person. I wish he was here in person. They should just, they just do inside the NBA from our parking lot? Yeah. That'd be, that'd be pretty funny. Ernie, 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 Ernie. No, er, Ernie. Who's that? <laughs> Ernie. Noah? Yeah, Noah yeah, got... that's a good one, Noah. I hadn't seen the first few, but I'm guessing that's the best one so far. For a while, he was really tough to get. All right, Tyler Brenner, you have envelope nine tomorrow. You're up next. Another Hall of Famer coming right up. Got it. Got a JSA this time, and it is the juice. Great football player. Great football player. Tyler Brenner. Amazing football player. Heisman. Heisman winner. Post football career. But his football playing days. Amazing. Uh, Tamara, you have number 10. All right. Next is Aaron Hernandez. He was the original Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. All right. It's not funny, you guys. PSA DNA. It is. Thurman. No. Um, Leroy. Leroy. Jenkins. Leroy Kelly. Leroy Kelly. Yeah. I almost wrote Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, Leroy Kelly for the Brown, 1964 to 1973. He's still with us, 77 years old, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1994. Why is his child listed? Is his child important? David Kelly? It was a basketball announcer, or baseball announcer. Hmm. All right, there you go. There you have it, Tamara. All right. Next up is Bill Helbley with number 11. And then, Michael, you are last but not least. Flawless O.J. Simpson on it. Game one gloves. <laughs> right, 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 right. And it's whoa. whoa. We got a couple boxers here. So that that's Evander Holyfield on the right. I don't know who's on the left. So. Who's on the left right here? That's Evander Holyfield on the right, right? Is that Evander's autograph? That doesn't look like it's Evander like Holyfield. It, right? Yeah. No, that's not that's not Evander Holyfield. Who is that? Oh, Sugar Ray Robinson. No. Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, that's Sugar Ray Leonard on the right. There you go. We just looked up his autograph right there. There he is. On the left or right? And on the right, and Sean is saying Roberto Duran. On the left side, does look like Roberto. Michael 
Michael. Oh yeah, I see, I see that. Yeah, third one. Right. Yeah, that is Roberto Duran. Yeah. Definitely Durant says Michael Blunt. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, my boxing knowledge not not super huge, but there there you are, there you go. Nice. Not, not too often see nice boxing autograph there. There you go, Bill. Nice. All right, and last but not least, there will be more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. It won't. Next one won't be part of the promo, but these are pretty fun. So let's get Don't into tell it. Tell me who won. I'll watch that fight at home. Michael Spencer. Like pay per view. Oh <laughs> man. I live stream it at eight o'clock. Yeah, no spoilers. Still football. Here. Nick is guessing football. I say baseball. I haven't seen too much baseball in this. PSADA. No, Nick was right. It is football, and it's. I know this pr is. Uh, I want to say. Huh. Well, he's got to be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He has long no. blonde hair. Type in ninety-one Hall of Fame. I think it's this guy. No. Kevin Green. Oh. I was gonna I, say it's, there's green in I the name. Like somewhere. Me, John Green. I was like, no, 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 not not me. It's, was, it's like it's a different green, not Joe Green, but Kevin. It doesn't look like Green. Oh, I maybe see the little G right there. Mean Kevin Green. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's the PSA. I guess we could have looked up the number, but it's fun fun to guess. Yeah, Kevin Green, 57 years old. Uh, I think was uh, recently a linebackers coach, Packers and Jets, a Super Bowl champ, Pro Football Hall of Famer. There you go, 773, 160 sacks in his career. It's pretty amazing. Part of the 1990s all-decade team. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go, Michael Spencer. Nice autograph there. Yeah, Fred saying post seal curtain sack master. Pretty amazing. Yeah, I was like, this guy is familiar. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you want to do some more, check out the website, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.